Thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you praise this morning. We give you glory. We bless your name because of who you are. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I was glad when they said unto me, Come, let us go into the house of the Lord. Oh, Father God, we just thank you for another day. Thank you for your grace and your mercy. And we just thank the Lord just for another Monday, another beginning of the week that we are here amongst the living, in the land of the living, just giving God the praise and thanks because he's so worthy of it. And this morning I want to come on prayers for the Bahamas and just pray against the spirit of pride as the Lord has been dealing with me, um, showing me that, you know, there's so much pride in um, Christians and also in the world. And, you know, God say he hates the proud and he humbled those who are very prideful and who think that they are, you know, they cannot be, cannot walk in humility. And so I want to read a scripture just before I begin the prayer. And it comes from 1 John, and it's chapter 2. And I'm going to read from verse 15 to verse 17. And it reads, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world pass it away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Oh, Father, I just want to say thank you, oh God, again, and I just want to praise you. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh upon us even now, Father. And, oh God, even as such, your heart is not happy, oh God, with us, Lord. You know, even right now with the COVID-19 and the sickness that is going around, you know, um, the health officials, they're dealing with so much. And then here it is, the Bahamians, they are just, you know, upset because beaches are closed and bars are closed and, you know, their livelihood is closed and no one wants to depend on the Lord and, you know, God is just angry right now because um, he's brought us through so much. And here it is. We're just living in our own little world. We just want to do what we feel like doing. We don't want to serve God. We don't want to live holy. We don't want to live righteous. But yet we are we're saying that we are a Christian nation. We're saying that we are a nation that recognizes God. But yet um, we want the bars open. We want the anything that to do with the pleasures of life. You know, we want those things to be available to us and we want to make money, some of us, just to party and to live, you know, a wild life. We don't want to live holy. We don't want to recognize the Lord, the King of Kings. And so, you know, I just want to come on um, prayers for the Bahamas and just warn the Bahamians this morning, you know, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God because guess what? In the book of Daniel, I read the story where the king, Nebuchadnezzar, did not want to serve God. And God allowed him to go and live in the field with the animals because he did not want to serve the God of Daniel. He did not want to bow down to anyone. He thought that he was a God. And he thought that his money and his kingdom, his whole palace, he thought that he was the one all-powerful and like the all-knowing God. But he was humble and God had him you know, in the field, eating the grass for years. And and he had to humble himself and he came to himself. And the story told us in the end that he recognized that, you know, God was, Daniel's God was the true and living God. And so I just um, urge you, Bahamians, if you are under the sound of my voice or if you should listen to this audio, the Lord is very angry, you know, it's too many pride, too much pride in the Bahamas right now. You know, um, just like uh, I saw a video with a guy and he was saying, like, if you are in an office, you know, making up all your money, you, you have your big salary, you know, check for the person that is, is not making all that, you know, who's not making any money or who doesn't even have a job. 
And so it's a wake up call for all of us. Let us help one another. Let us reach out to one another. Let us seek to see who we can help those who do not, didn't lose their jobs, those who are able to help others. I pray that you would hear this message this morning. I pray that you would reach out and begin to lend a hand to that person who does not have anything and that we can all, you know, live at peace. And I just want to pray before I um, go. It's just a short audio. It's nothing long, but um, just wanted to let you know what the Lord has laid on my heart. And he really wants us to get out of the spirit of pride, worrying about the things of this world. And we need to set our affections on earth, on heavenly things, as the Bible said, you know, things that we are going to be, we're going to, you know, move from here to eternity if we choose to live for Christ and we choose to live a holy and a righteous life. So let us focus on those things that please God. Let us focus on the things that edify our spirits and our minds and, you know, that will cause our country to move into the place of righteousness. So like the word says, blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. And, you know, let us be mindful of this is just a short time of this COVID-19. And in this time, God just wants to see also where our hearts is and help us, you know, I pray that we would all just wake up and realize that God is watching and he's looking at the hearts of men, especially in these times right now. And so I just want to go into a prayer. Oh, Spirit of the living God, fall fresh upon us this morning. We give you praise and we give you glory and we give you honor. For thou art worthy to receive glory and honor and praise. O oh God, thou art holy and we recognize that you are the God of all gods, Father. God, I pray this morning in the name of Jesus. Oh God, the blood that you have shed for us, help us to remember that that was a sacrifice, oh God, for us to come to the cross, oh Father, for us to come and render our hearts to you and our minds and our souls and our bodies and our spirits. Oh God, I ask you right now, God, to have mercy upon us, oh God. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh upon us. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place this morning. Thou art welcome this morning, Holy Spirit. Come in and we move and speak through me. Edify, Father God, this prayer, O Father, according to your will, O Father. Intercede on my behalf, Holy Spirit. You are the one with all power and all knowing God. Father, I pray this morning, have mercy upon your people. Have mercy upon the Bahamas right now and the people of the Bahamas, Father. Let them turn their hearts to you. Let them, O God, remove themselves away from idols remove themselves from arrogance, remove themselves from pride, O oh Father, for the ways, O oh God. That, that Father God, some of them think that they are higher than the other Father. Some of them think that they have accomplished more than the other person, so they act as if, O oh God, they're better than the other person. But Father, we can see in the book of Daniel where you humble Nebuchadnezzar, Father, and he was a great king, O oh Father, but yet you put him as low as to live in the field with the animals, O oh Father, to eat grass, Father God. God, you are the all-knowing God. You are the God of vengeance, Father. You are a merciful God also, Father God. And so, God, you're admonishing us, Lord. You're urging us to repent before it's too late, Father, that we may have to suffer, O oh God, to bow our knees to you, Father. God, I pray on behalf of the people of the Bahamas, O oh God. I pray on behalf of the listeners right now, O oh God, if there is any pride in their lives, O oh Father, destroy it with the blood of Jesus this morning, Father. O oh God, I pray right now, O oh God, that we will turn our hearts to you. Let us surrender our minds, our souls, our bodies to you, Lord God. Let us do your will. Let us, O oh God, seek your face before it's too late, O oh Father. O oh God, let us come before you, O oh God, and humble ourselves under the mighty hand of God. That in due season you will, O oh God, exalt us. You will exalt us. Some, Father God, feel like they're in a very low place, Father. But God, let them know, O oh Father, that even as you've raised up David, Father, a young boy tending to sheep, O oh Father. O oh Father, you would raise them up, Father, to make them kings and queens, O oh Father. O oh Father, that they may go into the earth and do your will and your work, O oh Father. Father, I pray for the spirit of love, O oh God. I pray for the spirit of oneness, O oh Father. I pray, O oh God, that we'll begin to have a heart that is pure, O oh God, that when we raise up our hands to you, O oh Father, that they be pure and holy, Father God. God, I pray right now, O oh God, that we'll begin to, O oh God, just seek, O oh God, your will for our lives, O oh Father. Help us, O oh God, to loose the taste of this world from our lips and anything, O oh God, that is not pleasing to your sight, O oh God. 
Father, every idol, oh Father, be placed before you. Father, we ask that you destroy it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Help us, O oh God, to be humble, Father. Help us, O oh God, to walk in total humility, O oh Father. God, I'm asking you, O oh God, help us, Father. Show us the way, Father. God, you said that you will perfect the things that concern us, Father God. You will perfect the things that concern us, Father. Only if we cry out to you, only if we seek your face, only if we call upon your name, the name of Jesus, that is a strong tower and the righteous run into it and they are saved. Father, we call upon your name to, to this morning. We call upon your name. Father, even behalf of those that are not saved, those who are prideful, Father, do not want people to know that they are not saved. Father, you said if they be ashamed of you, you will be ashamed of them. You will not represent them, O God. You will not intercede for them, O God, in the front of your Father, O God. You will not, Father, go to your Father on their behalf. O Father, so I pray, O God, that they will remove pride and they will begin to be bold for your kingdom. They will be bold, O God, for your work, O Father. Oh, God, I pray right now for your mercy, oh, God, upon us, your children, oh, Father. I pray for mercy upon the Bahamalands, upon my family, oh, God. Oh, God, upon my nation, oh, God. Oh, God, my co-workers, oh, God, the, my, the pastors, oh, God, the leaders of this nation, oh, Father. Oh, God, I pray, oh, God, in the name of Jesus, that you will remove pride from the House of Parliament, oh, God. Remove pride from churches, oh, God. Remove pride from marriages, oh, God. Remove pride in the name of Jesus. Jesus from business, oh God, businesses, oh Father, establishments, God, remove it in the name of Jesus. Pride comes before our fall, oh Father, and I declare and decree, oh God, that God, that many will hear you in this hour, oh God, they will surrender to you, oh God. Father, they will not be destroyed, oh Father, because though God, you said not by might, nor by power, but by your spirit, you will move on their behalf, oh Father. Oh God, have mercy in the name of Jesus. Have mercy, oh Lord, upon them right now, oh God. Have mercy mercy on me, O Father. If there be any wicked way in me, O Father, I repent even now, O God. As I am on this live, I repent, Lord God, that my heart may be pure before you, that my lips may be pure, O Father, that when I call upon your name, O Father, that they, O God, that, that you will, I will be pleasing to you, O Father. And help me not to be a hypocrite, O oh Father. Help me to live a life that is pleasing unto you, even, O oh God, in secret. When I'm not doing a live video, Father, when I'm not doing a video on YouTube, help me, Lord God, to not be a hypocrite, but to live pure and holy, a holy life even behind the scenes, O oh Father. O oh God, I praise you right now. You said they that have clean hands and a pure heart, they will stand up in your place, in your presence, O oh Father. And so, God, I pray, O oh God, for those there, God, this morning, God, who are walking in the spirit of pride, I pray that they will humble themselves. Oh, God, before, oh, God, the anger of the Lord begin to, oh, Father, overrim and begin, oh, God, to work like you did on the great King Nebuchadnezzar, Father, who thought he was untouchable, oh, Father, who thought he was, oh, God, the great God. But, Father, he realized that there was someone greater than him, oh, Father, and he repented, oh, Father. And you gave him back his sanity. And you gave him back his kingdom, O oh Father. And he continued to rule, Father, as he recognized that you were the God of all gods. And so, God, I pray this morning, God, that God, that the Bahamas will recognize you as God and Lord. And they will remove all these things, O oh Father, that represent idols, Father God. Everything in their lives, O oh God, everything that be a place in the Bahamas, O oh God, is idols before you. That, Lord God, that you will destroy it in the name of Jesus Christ. Expose it this morning, Father, and put it to death, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. O Rabasikerebusaya, O Ramendeshi. Atababaso to Rabasi, Ikando Ramande Satababo Sai, E Roshe Kerebo Sai, Mande Rocumbo won the Andabasaya, Icaroshi Carabo Satababa Sai, Romon de Kise, Roshi Cataba, Rababa Siturian da Basia, O Shikan da Bosai, Makushi, E Rasata Sikura Babasi Tababo Sai. E Ramande Kushe Ika Rasata Babo Shire O Rababasi Kininemosai Reshikia Dabasi and the Bosi Rase Roko Shika Babo Sire In the name of Jesus God, all power, all glory belongs to you. Rise this morning and let every enemy be scattered. 
Rise, O Holy One, and let every enemy be scattered. Rise, King of Kings, and let every enemy be scattered. Rise, Lord of Lords, and let every enemy be scattered, O God, this morning. O God, I pray for the spirit of peace. I pray a covering of the blood of Jesus over the Bahamalands. I pray a spirit, O oh God, of oneness. I pray a spirit of provision, O oh God. I pray that everything will be provided for every need, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, I pray, O oh God, for a spirit, O oh God, that will draw, O oh God, them, them back to you. Those who are black slidden, O oh Father. O oh God, I pray for the spirit of conviction to lay hold of the Bahamas right now, that we will begin to see our sin, O oh God, and begin to repent, O oh God, before it's too late in the name of Jesus. And I pray that if you are listening, if you are not saved, I pray that you will surrender yourself to the mighty hand of God before it's too late. O oh Father, in the name of Jesus. John 3 and 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3 and 16, Romans 10 and 9 says, If you believe in your heart, Father God, you speak with your lips and you believe in your heart that God has raised Jesus Christ from the dead, you shall be saved in the name of Jesus. Just believe, just have faith. I pray for this week that it will bring you blessings, it will bring you miracles, it will bring you signs and wonders as you surrender yourself to the living God. And we give glory to the God of gods and the King of kings, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We give him the praise, we give him the glory this morning, and we pray a covering of the blood of Jesus for the rest of this week and even for the rest of this year. In Jesus' name I pray, amen and amen. Blessings and on. Blessings beyond blessings.